Hello guys, what's up? Uh, today I want to show you how you can export HTML table data into an Excel or CSV file. I have uh, prepared this project, uh, so I'm uh, making a request, Ajax request to this JSON placeholder, fetching users and just drawing a table. Now I want to add the functionality to export the table data into Excel or CSV. Let's start. First, I want to add two buttons in index.html uh, for uh, exporting Excel and CSV. So I'm going to paste this code, export Excel and export CSV. Now I'm going to add event listeners on the button uh, to listen for uh, the event clicks. I'm going to select the buttons and add event listener. Here I want to export in Excel or CSV. CSV and here I want to export in Excel. Um, I love, I really love object-oriented uh, way in JavaScript. Uh, so I'm going to create a class uh, table exporter. Export default class table exporter. And in constructor, it should accept table HTML DOM element and save it in the public variable. And I'm going to give uh, two methods, export CSV method and export um, XLS method to, to the class. So when I call this export CSV, this will uh, open the download dialog for CSV and the second one will open dia download dialog for Excel. So here I'm going to create this uh, instance of this uh, table exporter. I'm going to import this. Let me remove this line. I'm going to um, import this table exporter class and create an instance of this. So my table is drawn here. So I'm going to create my instance here. But first, let me declare a variable table exporter here, and I'm going to instance instantiate it. So table exporter is new table exporter passing its table so here I can select a table and pass it there okay here I have my table exporter and now I'm gonna call table exporter export CSV method and here I'm gonna call table exporter export XLS. Now let's go to these methods and implement them. The idea is the following, that we prepare a string either for CSV or for XLS. Um, we prepare a special string with a content type uh, and uh, then we uh, create an anchor link. Uh, we will put this anchor link in the DOM uh, set its href attribute to the string we, which we prepared before and trigger the click event on this anchor link. So when this event is triggered, this will change the uh, URL of the browser and this will trigger the download. So uh, I'm going to create a separate method trigger download um, because I'm going to need it for both trigger download which will accept the 
URL, the actual string, and the file name, what I want to call the downloaded file. So here I'm going to create this uh, anchor link, download link, uh, do document create element A. I'm going to set its uh, href attribute to the URL. Um, I'm going to give it also download attribute set to file name. Um, I'm going to put this into body append child, this download link, and then I'm going to trigger uh, the click, download link, click. Okay, this line uh, is not necessary for a Chrome browser, but it's necessary for Firefox. If you don't append in the body, it doesn't trigger the download for Firefox. So I'm going to put it there. Downloading Excel is uh, relatively easier because we just need to uh, give it uh, the URL should be uh, the HTML, actual HTML. So uh, table content is the this table outer HTML and the actual uh, table HTML which we're going to pass in the trigger download uh, tri trigger download method um, let me call it table HTML URL this will be um, we need to prepend with a content type so data application um, VND MS Excel. This is the content type for uh, the older version of the Excel uh, 2003. And I'm going to give it a char set also uh, UTF-8. And after this, I'm going to I'm going to add this content table content. And I'm gonna call download trigger download pass it table HTML URL and the file name and the file name um, I'm gonna call it users XLS. Okay, let's see. Saved. It's reloaded and export. Okay, it opened this pop-up dialog. Let me save it and see. Uh, this op this opens this warning. Do you want to open it anyway? Yes, I'm going to open it anyway. And here is um, my table, which is, of course, really ugly. Okay, here um, we need to replace the white spaces uh, for the table outer HTML. We need to replace white spaces with person 20. And let's see it for now. If it doesn't work, then we need to try to replace new lines also. Okay, it works now. So uh, as far as we replaced it, uh, replaced white spaces with person 20, now it works fine, and this is our table data. And if we click this Enable Editing, we can, of course, edit it. Uh, okay, let's, that's all for Excel. Let's move on and export now uh, CSV data. For CSV, uh, we need to do, the idea is the same. We need to generate the actual string, CSV string, um, but uh, we need to generate this string. We, we cannot just... Uh, give it uh, the HTML as we did it for Excel. So we have table rows and TDs and we need to generate the CSV data. Okay, I'm going to select all TR elements. Uh, this table query selector all. Um, 
TR, but I'm going to select under T body, all TRs under T body, then I'm going to iterate over the TR elements and select all TDs. Uh, I can run query selector all like this for TDs or I can uh, just call children on TR because I know that uh, TDs are direct children of the TR. So I'm going to call const TDs equal TR children and here I'm going to iterate over my TDs. TD. And I'm going to create a CSV. Here I'm going to create a CSV content a string. And for each TDs, instead of iterating over it, I'm going to call map method which will accept td and this will return the uh, actual td content. So I'm going to return td inner html. Finally, this gives me an array of td values and I'm going to call join method to convert this into string with comma. So this gives me an array of TD values for each row and I am joining them with comma to have proper CSV syntax. And I'm gonna um, concatenate it with CSV content. And we need additionally new line or it will be better if we create this as an array and push the each line in CSV content as an array and finally my CSV content will be just CSV content join with a new line. That's the final CSV content and let me print it in console to see if it's actually what we want. So go to console, click on export and we have this error TDs map is not a function. Right, TDs is a um, collection. It's a node list collection. So it doesn't have all methods as array has. So instead of TDs map, I need to call here um, array prototype uh, map to call on TDs, passing the callback function. Export and here is my CSV. Now let's let's export it. Here we do this similar thing. This download URL download uh, trigger download passing their CSV content, but we need to prepend this content type also there. So const CSV content URL. Um, prepend it with data application slash um, no it's it's a uh, text CSV CSV then semicolon char set is UTF eight comma in the actual CSV content. Okay, giving this argument and users.csv. Now let's see, export as CSV, it open, save, open, and it works fine. Okay, this may not work uh, correctly you know, for uh, UTF characters. In instead of that, we have we added this UTF-8 char set. It may not work properly. So um, to make sure that it works on UTF char characters, also we need to call uh, for CSV. 
we need to call uh, encode URI on the actual CSV content. So here we need to call encode URI. Okay, and that's basically all. Now we can see the download uh, of CSV works fine. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please let me know in the comments what uh, you think about my videos and see you in the next time.